Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to uh, write a JP, JPQL by using at the rate named queries annotation before the entry class. Uh, in this video, we are going to explore uh, if we want to specify some kind of native query or SQL query, then uh, how we can uh, specify uh, native query by using the at the rate named native queries that's very similar to the named query if you want to specify some kind of jpql uh, how we did in our previous example then uh, we'll have to use uh, at rate named query but uh, if you have a sql query to specify then you can use uh, at rate named uh, sorry at rate uh, named native query or at rate named native queries right so let's go ahead and try to explore how uh, uh, these annotations works uh, uh, along with the spring jpa uh, spring data jpa so this is the project which i had created in my previous video tutorial i'm going to copy this project and uh, let's create another copy of this project with uh, uh, some other name and there i will try to show you uh, how we can use at rate named native queries okay so let's paste over here and uh, project name i'm going to specify a spring data named native uh, query demo so now we uh, created project with uh, another name this is the project let's expand this project and here you can see what are the files we have so here uh, this is basically showing some error because uh, this maven dependency is not uh, i mean downloaded till 8 so once maven dependency will be downloaded then this error will go away so once all Maven dependency uh, will be loaded, uh, and you see a folder is called uh, Maven dependency over here, and that will contain the all jars which is required to develop our application, and this error will go away. So here now you can see Maven dependency uh, gets appeared, and all dependency uh, is added, and this dependency basically we uh, have a specify in our pom.xml right so here in this video we are going to focus uh, how to uh, specify a, a native query by uh, before the uh, our entity class so here let's see here is our entity class and uh, in previous demo uh, we have a specified jpql right so instead of jpql uh, i'm going to specify a plain sql query so i'm going to comment this guy and here you have a annotation is called uh, native sorry named native query name uh, native queries so you have a two annotation one is named native queries and another is named native query so if you have a only single uh, native query then you can suffice with named native query but here you have a two jpql and this two jpql we are going to convert into the corresponding uh, sql query right so here you can see uh, we have a named native query and named native query so i'm going to use a uh, named native query which is which belongs to the java x dot persistence uh, package now uh, we have to add some attributes so tools supports you in that so click on add missing attributes and here uh, this is very much similar to add the rate named query itself now again you can add attributes and here i'm going to specify the name almost same and uh, earlier we had specified the jpql right when you how you write jpql uh, basically by writing the jpql you use the entry class name and uh, its property name right but uh, when you write sql query then you use the uh, you use 
a table name as well as uh, its column name to write a select query. So here I'm gonna write a select uh, a star from uh, uh, sorry person table person underscore table uh, where where and column name we have a uh, last name is the property and column name uh, this is our column name so we have to put condition on this so just I'm going to write uh, this is J jpql and corresponding SQL query I'm gonna write equal to equal to you can give question mark one it's very similar to the now one thing you will have to keep in mind when you write a SQL query right then uh, uh, now this is a SQL query now you will have to provide some clue so that uh, the Spring Data JPA will select data from this table and will try to bind with some entity class. So that's why this requires uh, to specify uh, something is called uh, attribute is called. Uh, there are many attributes you can see. One of the uh, uh, attribute is called result class and here you need to specify the result class. A result class is nothing but the person dot. Uh, class you need to specify if you have a jpql then you don't really need to specify anything now let's copy this guy and uh, we have a two sql query right and uh, second sql query we are going to write for this as well and uh, look into the jpql what we have written written select p from person p where p dot uh, first name equal to question mark one and email equals to question mark two so corresponding sql query we will have to write so select a star from person table uh, where uh, we will have to write first first underscore name equal to something like this question mark one and and uh, email so uh, I mean property close point to email is email itself so uh, this is the column name itself so it's very similar right so this is the and again you need to specify the result class so now this named query I'm going to remove safely and this of the code will be same right so now uh, this named query we can retrieve in our doll layer uh, by this these two names right if you go to the here then you can see the method con name, naming convention I have given the same name what uh, uh, named query name I have specified over here so now let's run, run the main method so let me explain how, how it works so from main method uh, we have created a local method is called get person info by last name and from here we are using the people management service so that is our service layer instance which we are just auto wiring over here so basically what do by auto wiring so we have a specify out at the rate auto wire before this reference right so basically spring will try to find this instance and that will auto wire automatically right and if you look into this class then this class is annotated as at the rate service that means this instantiation of this class will be taken care of by the Spring container, Spring container stands here. This class with name people management service with first letter P, and that will keep into the container. And whenever you do at rate auto wire, then that will be automatically injected. So you don't need to uh, create instance of this class uh, yourself, right? This is taken care by the co Spring container. Now you are calling its method, right? Once you get the instance of this class, then you can call its method. So we are calling its method. Uh, uh, so first uh, uh, we are calling this method right so we are calling its method this method which basically fetches record based on the last name person last name so this makes call to the service layer method and this is making call to the finally doll layer right which is over here and from this name we have uh, written a jpql right for these two methods right so pretty straightforward so let's run this first method and see and let me show you our database so in our database we have a four records and last name we are passing uh, Murphy so we are expecting to get two uh, results yet right so now let me run this project so 
so run as uh, Spring Boot app, or you can say run as uh, Java application, right? And let me show you the console. Cool, you can see, uh, I mean, Spring JPA is just uh, running this query, which we have written ex explicitly, right? Uh, and that, that uh, basically SQL query, basically we have written over here, same query you can see on the console, and we are getting the two records, right? Uh, which we are fetching based on the person last name, and person last name, we are just passing as a Murphy, right? And from this last name, we have a two records, right? So record whose ID is one and five, and same we are getting on the here, right? So now let's test the another API, right? So we have tested this API. Now let's test this API. In this API, basically we are trying to fetch the record based on the person, uh, first name as well as email address, and uh, here again we are we are using reference of uh, service class and uh, we are making call to the service class method and here in service class uh, we have auto wire our uh, doll layer reference right and it's an interface right so uh, auto wiring for this uh, doll layer interface will be taken care by the spring framework so basically uh, in a spring framework basically you cannot uh, insta basically in java world you cannot instantiate interface it's still auto wiring for this interface is happening right you might be uh, very surprised right so don't worry about this because uh, spring takes care about this Spring basically creates a proxy class uh, which correspond to this interface which is the implementer of this interface and that gets injected so this is already taken care by the spring uh, so the spring uh, data jpa and once it, this will be injected then this we are making making the, uh, use of this reference and we are making call to this method and look at this the method name from this method name we have uh, one uh, sql query over here right we have written by using at the rate name uh, at the rate name native query and this query will be uh, will be run and uh, you'll get the result so let's run this api and test it again so at this time just we are fetching uh, we are trying to fetch record based on the first name is barry and uh, uh, corresponding email is barry.j2007 uh, at the rate gmail.com and if you look into the uh, database then we have a one matching record so we are expecting to get one record so here you can see on my console eclipse console we got the single record so what query we have written same query query is running and we get the single record right so i hope you enjoyed learning this video so uh, basically if you would have worked on the uh, hibernate then in hibernate oh, hibernate is one of the popular jpa implementer right uh, one of the implementation of jpa and uh, uh, in hibernate also you can use this at the rate named queries and at the rate named query right in similar fashion you can use this annotation in hibernate as well how we use the spring data jpa so I hope you enjoyed learning this video. This code I am going to put on the GitHub and GitHub location. I will specify in the video description. If you have any queries or any question uh, uh, regarding my this demo or previous demo, then please let me know. You can uh, post uh, your comments or any feedback below to the video. And thanks for watching this video.